Assalamualaikum and good morning to my panel. My name is Muhammad Izzat Akashah bin Salahuddin and my material number is 191688. Now, I will present to you my final project entitled Simulation of Mechanical Ventilation 6 Bay for COVID-19 Patient. So, for introduction, as the condition of COVID-19 begin to develop rapidly, the number of people who contracted the virus has risen dramatically. Second, the ventilation system and air conditioner are designed on the ceiling and floor of the room are responsible for circulating fresh air inside the room and directing it from the side floor to the outside environment. Next, it is an infectious virus that spread by inhalation or con contact with droplet nuclear generated by affected person while sneezing, coughing, and or speaking. It is caused by, uh, by a virus that is highly contagious. If air quality outside the hospital is wide, widespread, there, are, there is a possible danger that natural ventilation can expose patients to other hazardous air pollutants. In this situation, uh, forced ventilation with the help of particle mover system must be considered when the concentration of the atmospheric part particulate matter is high. Uh, for the problem statement, it is an airborne virus that can be spread by sneeze, cough, or speak nuclear. Inadequate air in the room circulate, allowing the infection or to spread freely. Airborne infection isolation room with negative pressure are not required in all environments. This means that the virus can spread when the area is confined and enclosed with the poor ventilation in that space. Also, the objective of this thesis is to evaluate the effect of pressure using the ANSYS simulation software. Next, to analyze the velocity airflow in, in the isolation room affected by COVID-19 using the ANSYS simulation software. Lastly, to simulate the ventilation system using the ANSYS simulation software. The scope of the study, the effect of the pressure will be investigated. Next, to evaluate the velocity inside the isolation room. Lastly, ventilation system using the ANSYS simulation software will follow the guideline of ASHRAE Standard 170-2017 Ventilation of health, Healthcare Facilities. For this limitation of study, the mechanical ventilation that performed in the isolation room must be negative pressure or the airborne disorder will be escaped from the room and affect people. Due to the movement control order, MCO, there won't be enough time to simulate big scale of the model designed in the licensed software computer. And lastly, the processor computed out of memory and need time to process. And this is the project flowchart. Uh, firstly, we start with uh, research and literature review. And then I will develop the geometry modeling, which is the isolation room. And then if the model is accurate, I will proceed to the next phase, which, which is a run model in the CFD, simulation software. And determine the mesh and element model. Next, to determine the boundary condition model. If the solution was verified, I will proceed to the next phase. In this computation chart, it has divided into three parts, which is preprocessor, solver, and postprocessor. It will explain more detail about the simulation process and how the flow to apply the setup. In the preprocessor, it will explain the process of the design model and mesh processing. Uh, and for this, the solver, it will explain about how the solution of the CFD was applied. And lastly, for the preprocessor, we will check if the iteration is converged or not. This figure shows the 3D isolation room model by the SOLIDWORKS. The geometry model room dimension were 4 meter length, 4.5 meter wide, and 2.5 meter high, with the volume of 45 meter cube. The isolation room model consists of one split unit air conditioner, inlet supply vent, one exhaust grill wall, and one patient complete with hospital bed. The mesh was done by using the NC simulation software, meshing software, meshing software. The type of the model is unstructured and the element number of this model is 1,247,384 with the node 235,670. The size of the mesh is 40 mm. The meshing is smaller and more accurate in this uh, section adjacent to the internal border. Next, in this setup, the body sizing was used to control the skewness of the model. The skewness for this model is 0.8814 as it was acceptable for this setup. And this is the mesh independent test. It is to find the optimal number of the grid to make the simulation converge and with a lower amount of the computational time. After conducting this method, it discovered that result vary depending on how finally the mesh is defined based on the baseline mesh, which use uh, 
247,384 elements. The mesh was taken into consideration as it will make the result converge. And next, this is the solver setting. It was used in the simulation for the setup in at the inlet, outlet, and patient mouse inlet. At the inlet, the velocity that used for the aircon velocity is 3 meter per second, and the flow of the patient mouse connection when he cogging is 8 meter per second. In this simulation, uh, for the result and discussion, uh, in this simulation, the time period is 5 seconds, and the result simulation for the pressure in the room is 1 pascal. The pressure is distributed equally, and the minimal criteria for the isolation room in a room is 2.5 pascal. Next, as you can see in this video, this is the result of the velocity contour in the isolation room. It is noticed that the result of the velocity flow is very rapidly inside the room, although it's only 5 seconds. The velocity that used for the inlet is 3 meters per second. In this simulation, 500 number of time steps was used to visualize the flow is in the room. And this is the computational time result. Uh, this simulation was using the transient flow. The computational time for this simulation is taking 4 days. In this simulation, 500 number of time step was used to visualize the flow in the room. Computation, computation it was complete with 10,000 iteration. The maximum iteration is 20 with the time step size of 0.01 second. Uh, this is the compute, computing time setup. As you can see, this is the time step size. I was using 0.01 uh, second and the number of time step is 500 and the maximum iteration is 20. Prediction of time flow to get the optimum result. Due to the limit of time constraint, the simulation can only be done for 5 seconds and the time that need to simulate that the data is 4 days. The purpose of this study was to see how well condi conditioned air, air discharge from air conditioning mixed with the airborne to reach every part of the isolation room and release it through the outlet vent. The minimum time taken need to simulate at least 2 weeks and above to get the optimum result. For the conclusion, the current research raises awareness of potential health hazard associated with airborne contamin contaminant and depends understanding of how ventilation air is distributed and transport in the isolation room. Second, the concept of this disease is simply to simulate the pressure and velocity inside the isolation room were achieved. The, uh, lastly, the finding of the study was will be helpful in limiting virus spread in a confined environment. And that's all for me. Thank you.